Hello and welcome everyone, it is me, the Laval, also known as Power To Do List, back for you with a combo guide on the Equip Morphtronic list post like the Earth Duelist pack I showed last week. Um, this is the list I'll be using if you want like extensive thoughts, go back to the initial deck profile. Uh, I did make a small change though in, upon further testing. I did swap out the uh, Platinum Gadget in the extra deck for a Crystron Harker Fibrax. Um, because this does make the combos a whole lot easier and more easily enables you to go into Appaloosa. We'll probably take a look at a few interactions with Gadget Gamer first, get into some combos then, and maybe do some additional test stands at the end. In general, there's a lot of things that make Gadget Gamer an absolutely amazing card, not only because it gives this deck a one card tool into anything, um, since you can just normal summon it, uh, grab yourself a telephone, and then use the effect of your gadget gamer, tribute itself to summon the telephone from hand and grab the gadget hauler from the deck. Now from here on out, you have a few options. You can of course, you know, still trigger your telephone effect in defense to maybe see if you cannot set up the graveyard. My deck's not shuffled here because I'm using the, um, you know, the, 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 the test hand tool of Adobe Pro. Um, set up the graveyard just in any way you want and maybe stack your deck afterwards accordingly what you saw. Um, I'll probably just put these to the bottom in any order. And from here on out, you do have a few options. You can opt to make Power Tool Dragon here to grab an, a basically guaranteed extender in um, double in um, Moftronic Repair Unit. It just eluded me there for a moment. Um, so that is one way. Um, because if you have another Moftronic in hand, you can use the uh, Repair Unit to bring back your telephone to instantly go up into a Crystal Wing. Uh, but you can also just make Hulk from here on out, which is uh, a very common thing um, people do. Um, but, you know, we'll just go with Power Tool for this one. Summon that boy in defense, use the effect and grab ourselves a nice little repair unit. Um, so yeah, you can definitely see there's a few possibilities when you are summoning your Gadget Gamer. Just to kind of extend onto that, since uh, Gadget Gamer summons any Morphtronic, um, you do have the added benefit of being able to, you know, also make other synchros with it. Um, I'll grab a smartphone here. Really, you know, you could also be grabbing a, a telephone here or a cell phone. Um, it really doesn't matter in that case. But you can tribute the Gadget Gamer, of course, as well to summon a remote from your hand, for example. Still grab, you know, the Gadget Hauler as you do, as you do. And then already be able to g commit for the new guy the power to a braver dragon that is an absolutely amazing boss for this deck. Um, if you're playing something like uh, Barone, for example, you can of course grab Scopen, summon set Scopen in defense, which makes it a level four tuner, and then easily go into a Barone de Fleur with a level four Scopen and the level six Gadget Hauler. So you can definitely see Gadget Gamer has a lot of potential, but we'll see that when we talk about some more extended lines. And with that, let's get into some extended combos. I think Moftronic combos are just more easy to show um, this way because outside of Gadget Gamer, the deck doesn't have any like real set in stones combo that start with X card and end on X bot. So let's get into it. Um, we'll be starting this hand off by Nomasang uh, or oh, Gadget Gamer, grabbing a copy of Telephone, tributing the Gadget Gamer, putting Telephone and Gadget Hauler onto the board, using Telephone's effect to set up our graveyard. We don't find anything here, so we'll just stack these to the bottom because we will commit for a power to dragon next, adding a copy of repair unit to hand. Using said repair unit to bring back the telephone, which is a very important decision to kind of keep in mind as you are able to use the telephone effect to guarantee bring back a cell phone if you already have that engraved. So that is why you see me discarding that for cost there. Bring back the telephone. Again, keep in mind, you know, doesn't matter what you roll, you will always be able to bring back a level one monster with your telephone at least. So we take the telephone and the cell phone here to commit for a Crystal Harker Fibrax, summoning a Scopum in defense. Fun interaction here since Crystal Harker Fibrax only negates the activated effects of the monster you summon. Um, you can summon a Scopum in defense, have a level four tuner, which is what I use there to make braver. You can see me committing for the Appalosa after using up Hulk and the Telephone. Revealing here off the cell phone a Scopin, which I will summon to make Earphone to have that level for Earth at the ready. Making the Chariot Beast with the leftover Telephone. Use the smartphone search here for maybe some follow up. Um, grab the Telephone out of those. 
put the Lenko Rebo back on the board, equip the Earphone to power to a Braver Dragon, and with that we have finished this combo. As you can see, we're able to put up quite an impressive board, despite only starting on a singular gadget gamer um, consisting of a monster, a like general monster negate, a targeted monster negate, basically locking our opponent out of spells and traps, having three negates on an Appaloosa, and we do have some battle protection with the Link Karibo. Our Braver Dragon is targeting immune, by the way, which is very handy. So let's take a look at another few lines. Here we are once again, and we have opened another new card in Moftronic Convert Unit, which I'll be using here to tag my Remoten into a Salphorn. I'll use the Salphorn effect here, go right ahead, to uh, grab back a telephone here. Uh, using the machine duplication now for these cell phones, um, since I do have the telephone now on the field, I am able to just, you know, grab another level one, commit for the Link Rebo here, use the telephone to bring back the used cell phone, make an Appalosa. Uh, use the, you know, remaining two cell phones on the board here, finding a remote, which is a very good pick. Um, do like grabbing remote and over scoping here because Remoten is able to get you additional level 1s into rotation, namely Smartphone. And since you're able to, you know, banish like a cell phone, you might have like in rotation, but you don't necessarily need right now. Committing here for the Formula Synchron after using the Smartphone effect. Um, being able to resolve a second Machine Dupe in a combo is of course always nice. Uh, making Earphone here with the uh, Remoten and the cell phone left on the field. Um, using the leftover Remotens here to make Levier. After committing for your searches and uh, from here on out, I do have a lot of card advantage to go off. Um, easily, you know, grabbing back a level one there with the telephone, committing for power tool dragon. Uh, using the repay unit here to bring back cell phone. Use that effect to put a, another level four on the board. I will bring back boombox in here because as you can see, I do have a smartphone in hand which I will use to um, make Boombox into beasts, as I do have like nearly enough Moftronics in the grave to, ba uh, to banish. Um, and I also have a repay unit with a Scopin and Boombox in left in hand, so that is a definite level 7 Synchro play um, for, you know, the, uh, the, the end board. So um, that is the next thing I will be committing to. Repay unit, discarding Scopin, summoning the discarded Scopin back, uh, committing here for the FA Dawn Dragster, taking Smartphone, using the effect once more, in this case for a repair unit and making the Churia Beast at the end of all this, you know, still remembering to equip Earphone onto power to a Braver Dragon. And with that, we have once again, like, ended on a rather impressive board, but this is mostly due to, like, resolving two machine dupes. We also have a bit of follow-up. Um, this Gadget Gamer is still live as we haven't resolved that. Um, we might even have a Telephone left in deck at the end of this. So that is definitely something to look out for. And with that, we get into replay number three here. This is just much easier, I think, to just talk over. Um, using the Foolish Burial here, which is like one of the main points why this is so good currently, since you are able to normal summon telephone, bin something off the Foolish Burial, namely cell phone, and be able to guaranteed revive that off your telephone. Using then the Machine Dupe on the cell phone, getting a smartphone onto the board here, Using the smartphone to grab ourselves a copy of Scopin, Crystal and Hulker Fibrax. I use that here to get a second copy of Telephone into rotation, as that is like mostly what you want, uh, since both can like bounce off each other into infinite link material, which makes the link variants seem rather scary. Um, making Earphone here with a spent remote and using remote in here to get like an additional one into hand, committing for the power to the dragon here and grabbing another repay unit. Luckily, since we already had one in hand. Uh, using smartphone here to just get more Moftronics into my hand, I will pick up a telephone here, um, just to have that in hand. Um, get into Braver Dragon here, use that to get all the equips under it. Repay unit, I do forget that my spam trap card zone is a bit loaded here, so you probably want to like equip the earphone at the end of your combo. Uh, so I have to use the Braver Dragon here to send an equip uh, to put that remote into defense to free up a zone to be able to machine dupe that back. Um, Put, uh, use the convert unit defense position effect, funnily enough, here. Um, as you just saw there, I turned that remote back into attack, so like never punished, I guess, and uh, was able to put a cell phone on the board from there. Um, well, you know, use the cell phone here to reveal, go into Scopin, uh, spend the last remaining remote to make a levy air here, bring back this uh, cell phone, 
roll another six, which uh, gives you a lot of things to work with. And a boom box is a very good one. Uh, use the armory arm, equip that to Braver Dragon, special the smartphone. Use that effect to get an additional card into my hand. Um, for the follow up or not, and make Naturia Beast equip another equip spell. Yeah, and this is just like the Braver Dragon special, I guess. Uh, this is a non targeting Braver Dragon that gains a thousand attack if it destroys something by battle. Uh, burns the opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster in the grave. That gains a good bit of attack of this United We Stand. Uh, I think 4,000 of that United We Stand alone is able to attack monsters twice per battle phase. Um, and we do have the Archfiend Staff of this pair, which is able to reduce monsters' attacks on the field um, by uh, half the equipped monster's current attack, which is a lot. Um, and yeah. Outside of that, we just casually have a 3 Negate, Appaloosa, a Link Rebo, and a Naturia Beast at the ready. This one I chose to keep in here because it is without the use of Machine Dupe. Um, getting into this one here, we start by normal summoning Cellphone, an absolute classic. Revealing three cards, finding Telephone here, absolutely massive. Make a Link Rebo here, because as you probably do remember, uh, we can use uh, Telephone's effect to um let's rewind a bit it's rewind time um you do see me commit for the link rebo here which is a very smart thing to do uh you still have the telephone on fiat not spent um and you don't have any targets for that currently uh turning your cell phone into a link rebo here basically gives you an additional cell phone summon uh, since you can just revive the cell phone off telephone here before committing for your hulk um which is just a very nice thing to do and remember um, since you want to like max out on the cell phone summons and the telephone summons per turn since abusing these soft ones per turn clauses is a main thing to do. Uh, get the Hulk summon here, spend my, uh, spend my, uh, spend my cell phone summon, uh, commit for Appaloosa, uh, again, you know, junk box, summoning back the telephone before committing to cell phone since you are able to, you know, telephone and then bring back the cell phone. Because why would you summon back one monster if you could summon back basically three? Because <laughs> cell phone can potentially get potentially get you another body. Um, committing for power two dragon here, uh, adding another repair unit to my hand. Um, using the cell phone here to grab a smartphone. Um, will probably not make formula synchron here since I've already done that. Um, commit for braver dragon here. Bring back telephone again. We go for the telephone. Find a six. Bring back the cell phone here. This is really just a uh, very standard stuff uh, that probably makes a lot of sense if you consider it um, how it works like in uh, actuality. Uh, finishing up the spot here by making an F8 Dawn Dragster, bringing back the Link Karibo, and remembering to equip earphone at the end. Um, so yeah, that's a very interesting and also important note to remember that you know. Um, if you have telephone, cell phone in the graveyard and you have an extender, uh, do remember to bring back your telephone before your cell phone. Since you can telephone, it doesn't matter what you roll because you're always going to be able to bring back a cell phone and then you still have your cell phone trigger. Um, but yeah, without Machine Dupe, we have casually ended on this. Um, so yeah, I'll probably maybe do one live and then we'll wrap this up. And here we are. Um, test, test hands not looking too terrible. We'll go ahead and normal summon that gadget gamer. Use the effect uh, to grab the uh, telephone. You will be grabbing in like 90% of cases off of this. Um, use the second effect tribute itself. Summon the telephone here. And get our gadget hauler. Trigger telephone here. Just from some additional graveyard setup. Maybe we're able to bin a Moftronic here to grab to have like something to banish for our smartphone later um committing for power tool dragon here trying to fish for another copy of repair unit um i like grabbing raptiness here as like a third option um since like in corner cases if you're suspecting like an effect veiler or an imperm uh, you might be able to like summon something in attack instead of defense and then equip that to it to get that protection in but you do have to remember um that there is a one-time thing. Uh, I got the repair unit here, which is very nice. Um, so I will probably just uh, go on ahead, uh, use said repair unit to pitch a remoten, which I will summon back. Um, 
does seem a bit weird. I know. Um, I'll banish the telephone here. Which, yes, you know, taking a telephone, tele telephone auto rotation can be a big deal, but I do have a plan. Bin a cell phone here. Summon back the telephone, as previously mentioned. Um, remembering to bring back telephone. Both so before cell phone is a very important thing since you get, you know, telephone summon and you also get the cell phone summon and cell phone finds another cell phone, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Um, we'll probably just go into formula synchron using these two, get that additional draw in to have that to work with. Machine duplication is kind of nice, not gonna lie. Um, so I'll probably real quick make a braver here. Trigger the braver dragon, get those three garnets out of the way. Uh, I do have a spent cell phone. Uh, so getting another cell phone might be a bit greedy. Um, uh, this way we will just commit for a machine you remote. And it's been a hot minute, but I still believe this is a very good line for the deck. Um, that we can take right here. Uh, our graveyard is not looking too packed, uh, but I think we can spare banishing this one cell phone for a scope and right uh, for a smartphone right here. Not for a scope, and that would be highly illegal. Uh, committing these two remotants into a Christian Harker Fibrax here, using said Harker Fibrax to put a copy of uh, I think scope onto our side of the field here. And from here on out, we can still use this not spent cell phone. I was just like quickly reorganizing myself and nothing off the cell phone, which is quite unfortunate. Um, do still have a live remote and banish another remote in here. Just get a scope into hand. Uh, sad part is we are not Nibiru proof by now. So let's uh, fix that. Um, I think I'll commit Hulk to that. Scope and this remote probably. And from here on out, we will be special summoning a smartphone. Use that effect, hopefully digging for a repair unit or a convert unit here. And there's the repair unit. A uh, convert unit's also funnily enough, kind of nice here. Um, Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, I think I will pick the repair unit though. Um, and from here on out, we will go uh, repair unit, uh, pitch scoping, summon back scoping. Trying to like kind of imagine what this uh, will all be looking once we finish this up. Uh, but I think we will simply go for a Naturia Beast or for these two. Put these other two into an earphone. Use, uh, not use the earphone effect on someone, but we'll use the earphone effect to attach this to our Braver Dragon. And then kind of cap this off summoning the smartphone, triggering the effect, kind of digging for some follow up. And uh, then we will probably, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, probably just finish this off with a simple Linko Rebo. Um, yeah, as you can see, we still have a smartphone in the hand. I uh, have the Braver Dragon here set up. A3 Nugget Appaloosa and a Naturia Beast. So still a rather nice board, I will have to say. Um, but definitely nothing that gets you through Nibiru, as you've seen me kind of juggle around a bit for no reason. Um, but if you are suspecting that, you can of course like adjust the combo to play around that by committing for a Crystal Wing earlier, instead of, you know, doing all this random nonsense before like making Braver in the end. Um, so yeah, I'll probably see you guys with the decklist again and maybe give you some final thoughts. In general, um... A lot has changed, but a lot has also stayed the same. In general, trying to resolve self for multiple times per turn is still your main goal, trying to dig for tuners to go into your synchros. Um, since you're not playing as many non-tuner Morphtronics nowadays, um, namely the level 4 ones since you do have Earphone in the extra deck, um, you are kind of working in this like synchro climbing 
way where you'd like commit a remote and a cell phone into earphone and then from there on use a second remote or a scope to make your power tool dragon or maybe a naturia beast if you have a smartphone or telephone at hand which is another point naturia beast already was a fairly common play in the deck since it is easily made with one of your main consistency pieces in smartphone uh, nowadays having that additional level one earth tuner a uh, Naturia Beast is even more easy to make and like it's hard to imagine a world where you will not find the resources to make uh, this. In terms of like talking about new cards, uh, Gadget Gamer gives this deck a rather decent normal summon that generates a decent, um, <laughs> an insanely powerful normal summon uh, that sets up a lot of different lines and is able to get you into a lot of your synchro or like link pool if you are making a Hulk of it. Um, of a singular normal summon, which is something the deck usually struggled with since it had a lot of lines that were re reliant on having uh, two or three specific cards in hand um, and then just a bunch of extenders. Uh, this is something you can normal summon, put up like an easy piece of interruption, uh, even have some options depending on like what else you have in hand, which is very nice. A telephone makes the link build seem very scary and I'm kind of looking forward to get to that and see what kind of like extra link or whatever shenanigans you are able to pull off just by, you know, stacking these on top of each other each turn. Um, convert unit, just a very sick extender. Um, either normal summoning anything, turning that into cell phone, cell phone grabbing back the thing you stack back to the top with the attack position effect. Um, or as you saw, taking something that you summoned in defense, swapping that to attack, and then being able to put another Moftronic from your hand onto the field, uh, since if you are, you know, actively summoning remote and using the effect, as well as, you know, actively using the smartphone effect, you might find yourself in a situation where you do have a lot of leftover Moftronics in your hand that you can't all pitch with repair unit. In general, the deck's in an amazing state. We still have one card to go. I uh, hope this doesn't change too much or else I would have to make a second one of these. Um, but we'll just see. Uh, we'll probably get to like the Synchro variant for in terms of deck profile and the Link variant in the coming days. Um, but yeah, I think with all that out of the way, I'll thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.